What's up? So I just got these in the mail. These are USB-C adapters that I'm gonna attempt to use to fix my keyboard. Two problems. I don't know how these work and they require soldering. So I'm gonna figure that out as well. So let's take a look. Now the main culprit of this whole situation has been this USB-B and I've never had luck with these. My previous MIDI keyboard had the same issue where this thing went out as well. So you can see as soon as you start playing with it, it does not stay connected. And that's the issue I've been having with this keyboard. So I'm gonna try to replace this and let's see if I can make it USB-C. Now the first thing I'm gonna attempt to do is try to remove all these screws and open it up and see if I can get access to the board and see if I can remove the USB-B port right here and replace it with a USB-C. So for these, I'm gonna need a screwdriver. Let me just get these screws out of here. And this one's just gonna fall out on its own. Oh, shit. All right. Now let's flip this over. There should be some cables, you know, dangling around. So we are gonna try to unplug those. So this is what we're trying to get to back here. So what I am gonna do is unplug these wires right here. All right. So now the keys are disconnected. This one I'm not allowed to disconnect because it's glued on. So what I'm gonna do now is just remove the screws for the board. Remember to always keep count of your screws aside in a safe location. That way, when you need to put everything back, you know where everything's at. Turn it that way and bam. So these points, I believe, are the ones that send the information. I don't really know what the problem is with it. I'm not a professional. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, so I don't recommend you doing this. I like to tinker, so I'm trying to figure this out. And this doesn't seem like it's too difficult but we never know. I've seen a couple tutorials, so I'm just gonna imitate what they do. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of the back of my head right here. Uh, gotta solder those off. All right, don't know if you can see this, but there are four points right there that I have to remove. Then these two big points right here also have to come off. And then I'm gonna solder some wires in there. This is our solder wick have solder wick right here so from what I seen you just got to take your time with this take it easy take it slow this is my first time soldering on a board I don't think it was the smartest choice for me to start with this but we'll see how this goes it was at this moment he knew he fucked up as you can see here the keyboard powers on um, but when the computer reads it, it actually doesn't recognize the device. So while we're removing one of the points from the board to get the USB-B out, I ripped out a small piece of wire to the data minus connection, which isn't good. I could see a trace of where I pulled out the wire from and I looked it up online and I think I am able to connect it with this. I just took an old plug and ripped it apart. See if I can connect this. So I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if you can see this thin as wire right there. I'm using the magnifying glass um, because I don't have a macro lens, but this is the wire that got ripped apart. So I just connected it directly to that white wire you see right there and into the data minus the connection. Um, so let's see what happens. I am gonna put some epoxy there. Um, and then after that, we're just gonna convert this into USB-C. Oftentimes it doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to get the job done. It looks like it's melted, yeah, I know. So this is the keyboard. The back, like I said before, not the prettiest, but should be able to get the job done. Now this is the cable that I hodgepodge together. We're just trying to get stuff done here. We're gonna plug this into the back. All right, now is the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. 
so it worked. I hodgepodge the previous cable I had, put in a USB-C adapter, and it's fully working now. So, it's fixed. <laughs>